we fight them? Every nobleman who had a will to fight was at that meeting. We cannot beat an army. Oh, with the 50 farmers, we can raise. And we do not have to beat them. Just fight them. Your father was a fighter. I know who my father was. I came back home to raise crops and, God willing, a family. If I can live in peace, I will. I love you. Always have. I want to marry you. Assault on the king's soldiers. Meet me at the grove. Right. They're getting away! It's the same as an assault on the king himself. Brothers! Go home. We'll have no homes left when English garrison from the castle comes through and burns us out. And they will. I'm William Watt. Go back to England and tell them there that Scotland's daughters and her sons are yours no more. Tell them Scotland is free. A rebellion has begun. Under whom? A commoner named William Wallace. Word is spread and the Highlanders are coming down on their own. Aye, in droves of hundreds. And thousands! If I risk my neck for you, will I get a chance to kill Englishmen? Hold! Oh. Who's with me? I, I am Wallace. Are you ready for a war? Here are Scotland's terms. Lower your flags and march straight back to England, stopping at every home you pass by. But to beg forgiveness for a hundred years of theft, rape and murder. Sons of Scotland! I am William Wallace. And I see a whole army of my countrymen here in defiance of tyranny. You've come to fight as free men. Free men you are. What will you do without freedom? Will you fight? Fight against that? No! We will run! And we will live. Die. Fight and you may die. Run and you'll live. At least a while. And dying in your beds many years from now, would you be willing to train all the days from this day to that for one chance, just one chance, to come back here and tell our enemies that they may take our lives, but they'll never take our freedom! This Wallace is a brigand, there's nothing more. Wallace has already killed the magistrate and taken control of the town. This Wallace, he doesn't even have a knight, but he fights with passion and he inspires. William Wallace killed 50 men. A hundred men with his own sword. Cut through them like Moses through the Red Sea. Sir William, in the name of God, we declare and appoint thee guardian and high protector of Scotland, and thy captains as aide de camp. Stand and be recognized. Because you won't stand together. You're so concerned with squabbling for the scraps from Longshank's table that you've missed your God-given right to something better. There's a difference between us. You think the people of this country exist to provide you with position. I think your position exists to provide those people with freedom. And I go to make sure that they have it. You tell your king that William Wallace will not be ruled and nor will any Scot while I live. Now is our chance, now. If we join, we can win. If we win, well then we'll have what none of us have ever had before. Country of our own. You're the rightful leader, and there is strength in you, I see it. If you make enemies on both sides of the border, we'll end up dead. We all end up dead, it's just a question of how, uh, why. I'm not a coward. I want what you want, but we need the nobles. We need them. Now tell me, what does that mean to be noble? Your title gives you claim to the throne of our country. But men don't follow titles. They follow courage. Men fight for me. 
Because if they do not, I throw them off my land and I starve their wives and their children. Those men who bled the ground red at Falkirk, they fought for William Wallace and he fights for something that I've never had. And I took it from him when I betrayed him and I saw it in his face on the battlefield. And it's tearing me apart. All men betray. Go! Or lose heart. I don't want to lose heart! I want to believe, as he does. I will never be on the wrong side again. No! Let the demon pass us. I couldn't agree on the color of sight. It's a trap, are you blind? Joining the nobles is the only hope for our people. I don't want to be a martyr. No, all right. I want to live. I want a home, and children, and peace. Do you? I do. I've asked God for those things. It's all for nothing if you don't have freedom. William Wallace, you stand in taint of high treason. Against whom? Against your king. Have you anything to say? Never in my whole life did I swear allegiance to him. I come to beg you to confess all and swear allegiance to the king that he might show you mercy. Will you show mercy to my country? Rope! Confess, and you may receive a quick death. Perhaps even live in a tower. In time, who knows what can happen. And I, and you must be purified by pain. If you can only live. Do you confess? If I swear to him, then all that I am is dead already. You will die, it will be awful. <gasps> man dies. Now every man really lives. Just say it. Cry out. Mercy. 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 Just say it. People know you, noble and common, they respect you. And if you would just lead them to freedom, they'd follow you. Unite us. Unite us. You have bled with us. Now bleed with me. Our Lord, 1314. Patriots of Scotland, starving and outnumbered, charged the fields of Bannockburn. They fought like warrior poets. They fought like Scotsmen and won their freedom. <laughs>